Next we have our layer 2. Now our layer, layer 2 is going to be our data link layer. Our layer 2 is going to essentially be access to a computer, access to our device. Now whereas our layer 1 was a physical layer, our layer 2 is going to package that bits uh, those physical bits, those physical impulses, and it's going to uh, package those into data and into frames. Uh, when we're talking about frames, we're essentially thinking of uh, segments of data that we're pushing over a layer two connectivity. So when we think layer two, we're thinking of frames. Um, and then we'll talk about a different term we'll use when we're talking about layer three. So our layer two data link layer, um, we're ac we have access it's going to be a transfer from point to point. Whereas our uh, further layers that we're going to move on to with networking may be the transfer of data across multiple networks, our layer two connectivity is going to be from point A to point B. When we think about layer two, we also think about MAC addresses. Now, MAC addresses stand for Media Access Control Addresses, and these are the addresses that are hard encoded into our network interface cards so that they have a globally, uh, worldwide, unique set of numbers that identify them. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about MAC addresses and how, that, how they look uh, in a later module, but all we really need to know right now is that MAC addresses are supposed to be unique to our network interface card. Different manufacturers are given, given different ranges of numbers to use and they keep track of those in, when they manufacture their cards to keep these numbers, uh, keep these numbers dis, dissimilar, uh, keep them unique per network interface card. If we had an environment where hypothetically if we had two computers with the, with the same MAC address, we would end up with a, a lot of different problems with connectivity with those two devices on our network. So these MAC addresses are unique. So our transfer of our data, when it gets to the point where it's sending to a specific MAC address, that's our layer two. That's our, the point in our transfer where we're, we have layer two connectivity. Um, if we are sending data from, say, a single computer to another computer directly through using its MAC address, uh, we have that layer two data link layer. We can even throw a hub in there, but as we've talked about in previous modules with hubs, uh, hubs don't really look at data packets, they don't really route or they don't really send, they don't send data according to IP addresses. Most hubs are just dumb hubs. They really just act as repeaters. If we had other computers connected to this hub, this hub isn't going to care who it's, who's connected to it. It's going to send data, if we send it from computer A targeting computer B, it's going to send it to computer C and computer D as well, and then just hope that they disregard it. So our hub would be a layer two device, because it's not, uh, it's not performing our layer three networking layer functions. It's not uh, routing IP, it's not routing at packets, uh, by their IP address. It's not looking at IP address and addresses and moving those packets to designated, uh, designated computers. It's really just taking the packet and it's just sending it out to the different computers. Even if it's, uh, if it's looking at a MAC address, like if we're using a switch, um, we're still just using a layer two device there, just that data link layer. Um, think of our layer two, our data link layer, as if the the truck is driving down our has our package it's driving down our street and it's the act of it handing off the box to our particular house on our street all we're really doing at this data link layer is we're getting data from one point to another um, we're pro providing uh, that packaging of data and bits into frames and when you think about layer two uh, think about access Think about hubs or layer two switches or MAC addresses, and that's going to be our, at our layer two.